Hi guys, uh, welcome to uh, EDA. And I thought I would talk about Twitter and specifically the growth in Twitter over the years and use this as an example of straightening plots, which we're focusing on this week. And here's a little history about Twitter. Um, you may be interested that it's about a little more than 10 years old and it was uh, founded by Jack Dorsey. And as you probably know, it's really um, gained uh, tremendous popularity in recent years. And so I'm, I'm interested in uh, trying to quantify the growth in Twitter. So I need some data to, to do this. And I found this web page uh, and has an interesting graph showing you the number of tweets over time. And what I like about this uh, graph, it not only does it has a graph, but it shows you some data. So I can use this data as the date and number of tweets per day. And I can use this to try to explore the growth. So I use this as data and I threw it into R and got a graph looking like this. So what I have on the vertical axis is the number of tweets per day. And what I did is I changed the time variable to number of days past the, um, the first tweet. So we have the number of days. And, and clearly, uh, this is not a linear growth. This is some sort of a exponential growth or something. And I'm going to try to explain that by, by straightening. So what I'll do here, I'm going to focus on the middle range here when there was uh, explosive growth in the, in the um, Twitter tweets. And so I'm going to look at the region between the red lines and try to straighten that part of the graph by means of an appropriate re-expression. So let's see. Um, so I just look at that data and I played a little bit with this and I'm actually, you know, there's it's desirable to, to transform the Y variable by a log because that will lead to a relatively simple uh, expression for the growth. And so if I if I transform y by the log and keep time the same, that uh, that keeps uh, that's this pretty straight looking graph. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is fit a line in here. It doesn't really matter what kind of line I fit. I'm going to fit a just least squares line because it's convenient. And there's my line. And now what I like to do is to the purpose of straightening is that we can get a simple expression of the, uh, the growth over time. And so I'm going to focus on the slope. And so when I fit this line, I get uh, the log tweets is equal to 9.59 plus 0 0.005 times days. This is days after the beginning of um, the beginning of Twitter. Now, here's a nice approximation uh, when you have this kind of, we have a log E expression, that if you add, that if the, um, the slope is equal to x and so we have a additive increase in on the log score that's equivalent approximately to a 100 times uh, x multiplicative percentage increase in score so if i take 0 0.005 and multiply it by 100 i get 0.5 so what that's telling us is that uh, the the tweets per day are increasing at a um 0.5% rate each day. And that's a pretty nice and pretty simple interpretation. And uh, so there are advantages to transforming Y on the um, log scale. So anyway, um, are we done? Well, definitely one important reason to straighten is to try to get a simple description of the uh, pattern by using a line. Also, we should always look at the residuals. And so I didn't do it here, but um, we should look at the deviations from the line to see if there's any points that seem, seem unusually large or small. We're also looking for outliers. Okay, and that's it.